Hey y'all, it's me, Walter. I had to stop, man. I was driving and I'm just enjoying a nice fall day and it's kind of cool outside there. It's kind of relaxing. But in this year where I have been, let me sit down for a moment. When I have been through so much in my life, literally everything from starting the year feeling off like, like I'm going to die and it's starting to work out to jet plane crashing next to my house, getting my family sick, uh, sending me and my wife to where we had to go to a doctor, totally change our diet. And now, this last week, I actually hurt myself, squatting to the point where I had to go to the ER, I got a muscle spasm, I can't do heavy weight for two weeks. Wow, it's been a year. But in the midst of that year, oh yeah, uh, back in May, I got kicked out of my old church. Um, let me say this. I got to take a pause because, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm one of those people who kind of push the buttons maybe social media. At least some people call me a rebel. I just tell the truth. Like during the election season, I was going to vote for Donald Trump. Changed my mind. I voted for Hillary Clinton. And you know what? It's my choice. It's my choice. And during that election season, I learned something really important. Let me speak on this. People will bully you and people will try to push you around. When you let them. But I'm telling you. I'm telling everybody this that follows me. That watches my video. If people push you. Push back. If people try to bully you. Stand up for yourself. I'm going to tell you the truth. I posted a post on my Facebook page. And I haven't got many comments. But I posted about something that happened in my life. That was important. And that hurt me right. Now this is the important thing to remember. That I think people miss. When you share something that happens, when you have a story, it's your story, and you have every right to tell it and share it to the world. And also, let me let me warn everybody out here this. When you wrong people, when you don't treat people the right way, when you don't interact with them, with them the right way, then guess what? That same social media, that's going to be an avenue where you're actually going to be held accountable. So even if you think that you're hiding, even if you think that nobody notices what you did or the things that you did to other people, guess what? People will see it. Case in point, and I'll say it just like this. I'm not the happiest person, by the way, that I left my old church. And I did reach out to people to try to talk to them. I was hurt. I felt I was wrong. Every side has two stories, but the thing that hurt me the most, I told my story. Nobody talked back. So what did I do? Because I'm, you know, I have to deal, and my wife, we've had to deal with so much hurt and pain off of this and other stuff. I'm like, why am I dealing with all this hurt and pain? And they're getting away scot free. So this is the way I see it. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and I will go to God and repent. That's the type of person that I am. But if you have a position of leadership and you have a position of authority and you have interaction with people, then you're held accountable by God. You're held accountable by man to treat people the right way. Now, I'm somebody that worked in customer service and I believe you should always provide the best service possible. And if you got a chance to fix situations you have wrong, then you go and fix it. That is your job and that is your responsibility. I know they say the customer is not always right. But the customer does have a voice, and you should listen to them. So what I'm saying is this. If somebody wrongs you, if somebody does the wrong, wrong thing to you, if somebody uh, it gives you a flippant response to a hurt that you have endured, whether it's a pastor, teacher, teacher, boss, uh, it could be the president of the United States, don't take it. Why, why, why take it? Why do they get to get away uh, behind the scenes when doing you wrong, and then you're dealing with all the hurts and pain? It's like a relationship, man. You know, the best part, the best way to deal with a relationship when you have been hurt is to get healed and move on. But you know what? If that person did you wrong, they did you wrong. And you ain't got to be silent about it because this is what happens. You're dealing with all the hurts and pains that you're, you're, you're going through because you're hurt that that person left you. And at the same time, they smile and they go and shop and they go into the mall. They even enter into another relationship. But you're still dealing with your hurt and pain. Today, I'm telling you this. Get free in Christ, get freedom, but get liberty in knowing that you do not have to be silent. And it is not wrong to raise your voice and say, hey, this situation, I didn't like it. It wasn't handled the best way. So 
that's where I'm at in life. And anybody watching this, because I'm going to put this on my Facebook, YouTube, it's out there. You know, I say this all the time. If you don't like it, you can scroll your finger over to the unlike or unfollow button, and you can do that. Because if you're going to follow me on YouTube, if you're going to follow me on Facebook, if you're going to follow me on social media, I am a man of truth, and I'm a godly man, and I'm going to do it. And I'm telling y'all, if you are in a position of authority, or you are associated with people that you know have done wrong, don't just stand there. If you are if you are around people that's doing wrong, for instance, if you have people that you know that are stealing and you're not saying nothing, you might as well be taking money out to till yourself. It's like you're stealing too. When you see somebody hurt, touched, abused, misused, mishandled, and you don't say anything, especially as a Christian, God is going to hold you accountable. So don't sit there and act like you're innocent because you don't want to say something. This is what happens. People do wrong. And instead of standing up against them for doing wrong, you stand against the people that were done wrong and say, there's no way that this person could have done this. Guess what? Everybody is human. I mean, everybody can make mistakes. Let me repeat. Everybody is human. I mean, everybody can make mistakes. I know I make mistakes. I have to apologize to my wife. I've had to apologize to employees. I've had to apologize on Facebook. I have to apologize to my bosses because I'm not always right. That means everybody is not always right. But if you don't stand your ground when you are done wrong, or if you stand to the side and allow people to do wrong, you are part of the problem. And if you are a Christian, and especially if it's a church, you need to repent. Because I'm telling you, what ends up happening is this. Especially if you're associated with a church or anybody watching it, if you're at a church and you know that people are doing wrong that are in high positions, then you are associated with a trail of hurt. They are causing hurt. They are causing pain. They are causing chaos. And people are hurting. And if you're not saying nothing, if you're not standing up to people, this is not just one church. This is a nationwide problem. We're a body, y'all. It's called the body of Christ. So when you're about the body of Christ, you're not supposed to, to hang on and say, I'm with the head, and then forget about the feet. No, no, no. We're a body. It's supposed to be together. So we grow together. We heal together. We learn together. But we can't keep allowing junk to happen to people. With that, I'm out.